Good morning, everybody. Robbie with Golf Course Cuts here. And it is a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. And I'm back over here at the Landscape Project. Um, we got a long day. Long day ahead. I'm going to try to get this thing knocked out today. So, we have um, some barriers to put down. So, I got a barrier, all the all the beds. And then... I gotta go get some dirt and I gotta topsoil the back flower bed, get that leveled out, and then head back, grab the mulch, and then sling mulch for the rest of the day. And if all that goes well and I still have time, um, I am going to go and lay down some, uh, some fertilizer. So, give you a quick look. Like I said, it's been a little bit, so I haven't mowed since the last one, just because I laid down some overseas, so I wanted to give it some time to settle in. Well, it looks like that's trying to do its thing there, but that's okay. I'm not too much worried about that, because the berry is going to suffocate all that. got the guys here um doing their thing on the inside of the property or inside of the house well, it did okay i think there's still some spots that needs to be it's starting to run a little bit but nonetheless Probably gonna have to do some more on those spots there, but yeah. So that's what I got going on. Uh, so I'm probably not gonna, I'll probably just film here and there because, like I said, I got a long day and I'm trying to utilize as much time as I can. So I try to get what I can with you guys today. If not, you'll see as I progress through the project. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. The next day, the final day. Um, we are done with this landscape project, y'all. It has been a journey, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, this one definitely definitely tested my gangster today, for real, for real. Um, not just today, but you know, throughout the whole process. So we'll just start on this end and work our way down. I also went ahead and mowed and you know, serviced the yard just so you know the project is complete. Um, and also fertilized too. So here we go. Here's tree number one. Nice and purdy. And just kind of skim around. Here's tree number two. There's tree number three over there. It's drizzling a little bit and a little windy, so I apologize if the noise is a little messed up. But here we go. Nice and clean, y'all. It's tree number four. Another flower bed. There's five. There's six. There's seven. Let's come to the back. This property is a little over an acre, y'all, so it's nice size. Here's the back. And up there, I don't, I don't know if I remember showing y'all, but it was like vines and stuff. Got all that cleaned out. But here we go. Big difference, isn't it? Big difference. Turned out good. Turned out real good. So this thing is ready for some more roses or whatever the customer would like to add. 
So, like I said, overseed and fertilize. Um, it's, we're still way too early to start seeing any germination of the seeds. So, um, I decided to go ahead and mow because they actually wasn't on schedule to mow until Thursday. Um, but like I said, we got a little bit of rain coming in. I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just get everything done, get it fertilized. So that way that rain will kind of help that fertilizer kind of, you know, kick in and, and do what it needs to do. So, um, yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm excited. The customer is amazed and very, very pleased at the turnout. Um, and since they are happy, I'm happy. So, um, so what I'm gonna do now is, cause I gotta finish getting things sorted. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run a B-roll. Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to get this messed up close. There we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run a B-roll of the before and after pictures um, from start to finish. Um, throw a little bit of music back behind it so y'all just sit back and chill and just watch this thing turn into this this your boy Robbie golf course cuts we'll see you on the next green